Welcome back to Genuine Gora guys. This is the ninth video in the JDBC tutorial series and in this video I will show you how to delete an entry from the database. Uh, suppose you want to delete a row from your database table then you can use the delete from command. If you want to know the syntax of SQL delete statement then this is it, the SQL delete statement. So in order to delete a particular row from the database table, you have to use the delete command. So the syntax is delete from and the table name specify from which table we have to delete the entry. And there is, using this word constraint, we can specify which row we are going to delete. Uh, in our case, we have a, a table called users2 and from there we want to delete the a member and for deleting a member say suppose you want to delete a member genuine quarter then you ha will have to give were name equals genuine quarter so that's what exactly we are going to do in this tutorial and let me run the program once so uh, db2.java I, I want to show you one more thing when you run a normal java program it is normally uh, it is starting in the left most side left top side suppose you want to make this window center of the screen then you can just add a simple statement in your constructor you can add it in this constructor or in the public static void main section in this case i am going to set it as this dot set location relative to and i am going to set it as null so when i specify the location relative to uh, something null then the j frame will load at the center of the screen so let me just run the program again and as you can see that now the window is loading in the, at the center of my screen so that's fine now <coughs> when i press refresh button you can see that there are three members in our table which we had uh, added in the last video what i want is i want to add a delete button here so when i press on the delete button the user selected in this table will be removed from the database using our uh, delete command so i'm going to the design section and i need one more button a delete button so i'm going to add a new button from here so button then here i'm just placing our button okay now i am going to change the button text to delete now I have a delete button and when I press on this delete button I want to know which user is selected from the table so for that I am going to right click on the delete button then events action action performed so this function will be called when I press on the button so just like before I want to get the selected row so int row equals table dot get selected row so get selected row this will be an integer variable that uh, showing which row is selected from the table so now we got the row the next thing we want is we want the name of the user to be deleted so for that i am going to create a string variable string name equals then table dot get value at this met method will give us a value from a specified cell of the table so the row is definitely the row which the user is selected and the column is the first column uh, I am not sure whether it is 0 or 1 so I am coming to here so row whose value is recorded so it is definitely 0 uh, then <coughs> 0 so now we will get value from this name section then I am going to use the to string method so now we got the name of the user to be deleted the next thing we want is we want to write a sql command for deleting the member so i am making use of this sql delete command so for that string uh, sql command equals delete from and our table name uh, it was users to let me check that first so we made the connection there then the table name is users2 so i'm going to use delete from users2 and we have to specify the condition if we just if i execute this command alone the entire members 
from the database will be removed so i want to remove only the selected member so we'll name which is the uh, name of our column and we have to specify the name of the member so i am going to use prepare statement here so uh, we have to make use of a prepare statement so prepare statement is emp equals connection dot prepared statement and the i'm going to give the sqlc and it will throw some exceptions so i'm going to use the try catch and, and, and now I want to set the name of the person to be deleted and the name is available in this name variable so stmt dot set string since the name is a string data type I'm going to set it so the first one which means this question mark I have already covered the prepared statement in one of my previous tutorial and go and watch it if you have some doubts on this prepared statement then I am going to set as name so now I go to delete from users to where name equals the name so that's fine now I want to execute this so stmt dot execute and this is an update operation it's not a query it's an update operation uh, insert delete or update is an update operation so I am just executing the execute update then if everything goes well the statement will, ex will be executed so uh, system dollar print line done Otherwise, it will throw some exceptions. So that's not the right way, but in order to make things simple, let me use it this way. So stmt.execute is over, then stmt.close. Then at the end, I want to refresh my table. For refreshing this table, I have a refresh button. What I want to do is I want to call this a button click. I, I just want to make uh, I just want to click the button so I'm going to do click method so it will virtually create virtually create a button click and I think it is okay let me run the program and I'm just pressing the refresh button and I got all the members from the database and suppose I want to delete the member Ubuntu then I am going to press on the Ubuntu then pressing delete and as you can see the member is deleted and there are two members here so that's it guys that's how you remove a member or a row from your database table as always thank you for watching this video and like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos